What's up, toy lovers? Uh, I just want to do a quick video. I got this NECA Frankenstein's Monster set. So I just want to do a video on it. I already put the table together and everything. But we'll show you here. So this is the table. It's for the NECA. Um, obviously, I have a G.I. Joe Classified Python Patrol Bat on there. Um, so he's much smaller, but it still can work. Um, like real quick, when putting this together. Okay, so it comes with this cardboard. Little dial background here. And then, um, when putting it together, just be careful that this bottom part, like snapping those in, right there, and over here, I mean, I thought I was going to bust this thing so many times, I don't know how it didn't break. Um, <laughs> it's been one of the most, uh, more difficult dial things to put together, in my opinion. But I just thought it would be cool to have, like, when I set up, like, a Dr. Mindbender lab, um, to have them. These just all pop out. Stabilized, maybe. Okay, so then all these pop off I just had to uh, pose them like that to get them in that setup. But I actually do have NECA's Frankenstein's monster. So you can see this is who it's made for. Um, it comes with, you know, other accessories that tie in with him and it's got a like a sheet that covers him. Um, I saw other people displaying it with some classified figures. Like having Serpentor and Mindbender. Um, in the dial with it. So and then all these would fit over him, and then there's even another one. Uh, there's um, one that goes in here. It would hold his head. But obviously when you have a smaller figure, it wouldn't work. So I just didn't include that one. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video. This is... Uh, I found it at Target. I mean, you can get it on online retailers, carry it, like Big Bad Toy Store. But I came, I come across these at Target usually in the collector's spot, and it's um, made by NECA, so it's closer to those, you know, seven-inch figures. But again, it's um, pretty cool uh, table for a lab. Um, you know, they made it look older, obviously, because of who it's for. Uh, it's pretty detailed. These, uh, these rods here, they are little metal rods. Um, most, this is just really for show, like this stuff, it'll turn or whatever, but this, it's just for show. None of this moves or anything. I don't think it moves. I guess I haven't really messed around with it, but I know. I don't think anything, uh, it's just for show. 
but it's a cool little piece. Um, I think it was retailed around $44, maybe 40 to 44, somewhere in there. But yeah, definitely if you're into dial pieces, cool things that will work with the classified line, then I suggest um, this is a good pickup. And I guess that's about it. All right. Okay, until the next video, everybody have a good one. Enjoy your collecting and take it easy.